In the oceans and in large lakes, there are huge numbers of tiny organisms called diatoms. Now, most of these produce their energy through photosynthesis and may be responsible for around about a fifth of all the oxygen being produced on the Earth. And these phytoplankton are generally just too small to be seen with the naked eye. But, as well as their important role in the food chain and in the production of oxygen, when they die, they can also have a significant role in the Earth's environment even then. The diatoms may represent about half the mass of all of the life in the oceans. However, these single-celled organisms have an unusual cell wall that's made from silica called a frustule. Creating a cell wall from silica means that the cell wall requires both less energy to actually create it, as well as to maintain it when compared to other types of cell wall. Silica-based cell wall really makes the wall quite tough, but at the same time quite heavy and can cause the diatoms to sink towards the sea floor. Sometimes diatoms rely upon currents within the oceans to lift them upwards, keeping them closer to the sunlight. This distribution of diatoms can in turn alter where other ocean sea creatures live due to the role of diatoms in the actual food chain. The trillions of tiny diatoms in our oceans and lakes do seem to be vulnerable to increases in water temperature, with smaller species being more readily able to cope with increases in temperature than do the larger ones, possibly leading to a reduction in oxygen production as ocean temperatures actually increase. However, it isn't just when diatoms are alive that they have a significant impact on our environment. When they die, the silica frustule will sink to the lake bed or to the ocean floor it can become a major component in the seafloor, eventually becoming a form of sedimentary rock, the rather unoriginal name of diatomite, but sometimes called diatomaceous earth. The reason for this name is diatomite rock is extremely soft and will readily crumble into fine particles of light white powder. The diatomite is mostly silica with tiny proportions of iron and aluminium oxide, and as such it's often using filtration system, as well as in a wide variety of other uses from toothpaste to cat litter. However, if the lake bed dries out or the ocean floor rises up, the diatomite and an even looser layer of dead diatom cell skeletons on top of it come exposed to the air and will start to fairly rapidly erode, with the tiny light powder being carried high up into the atmosphere. This is happening what was once a huge lake in Sahara, which is now known as the Bodelli Depression. Tiny dust particles from the Bodelli Depression carried over the Atlantic Ocean and formed condensation nuclei, which are required to form rain clouds, produce a huge quantity of rain in the rainforests of South America. So the existence of the South American rainforests are reliant upon long, dead, single-celled phytoplankton which lived in a lake which has long since dried up.